Hi everyone, Thursday the 18th of February already. Glad to see you. We're continuing our study on the promises of God. And today I'm going to go to Joshua chapter 1 and verse 9. Some of you have even committed this verse to memory. I want to start with a story. Last week, my sisters, my younger sister's mother-in-law, Arlene, was hospitalized for COVID. She, is, uh, she had had the disease illness for, I don't know, about three weeks. And when she was hospitalized, and this was her second hospitalization, uh, the doctor said things weren't going well. At which point, uh, my brother-in-law and sister had to make the difficult decision to put Arlene on uh, comfort, comfort care, hospice care, which is uh, quite frankly just a, a morphine drip to help her be comfortable in death. It was really a decision to help Arlene die well. I talked to my sister, Cindy, and uh, my brother-in-law, Roger, and they were lamenting, <laughs> mourning, not only her death, but that they couldn't be with her as she died. She was in a COVID wing at the hospital, and there were absolutely no, visit no visitors allowed. And as I talked to them, they kept reminding me, well, she's alone, she's alone. And in fact, my brother-in-law and my sister, uh, they're apart from each other because my youngest sister also has COVID. And so she's quarantined from her husband. They can only see each other uh, while he's outside of their home, uh, waving through a glass window. They were lamenting that they were alone. And this verse from Joshua 1.9, this promise of God came uh, into my head. And I reminded them, they are never alone. As Arlene died, I reminded them that she too, especially in death, was not alone. What is this promise, you ask? Joshua 1.9, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I was really discouraged last week uh, hearing of the death of my uh, brother-in-law's mother. We were uh, particularly close, me and Raj, and uh, Roger's family and our family have been very close over the years. Arlene really has been become, uh, has become a part of our family. My brother-in-law, Raj, and my sister, Cindy, are celebrating, I think, about 35 years together, almost. So for 35 years, I've uh, known Arlene. And to hear my brother-in-law Raj and my sister Cindy um, proclaim that she was alone in death just tore me up. Yes, they couldn't visit, but I reminded them, guys, don't be afraid for her. Don't be discouraged. Be strong and courageous. Why? Why? Did you hear it? This is a causal promise. You ought to be 
says God. You should be. In fact, it's a command of the Lord. You must be strong and courageous. You must not be afraid. Why? Because I am with you wherever you go. This is the promise that God gave to Joshua. Don't be afraid or discouraged. Be strong and courageous for the very reason I am with you. When Arlene took her last breath uh, a week ago Wednesday, she was not alone. <laughs> no way. She loved Jesus. She served and followed him with her whole heart. She was a faithful and obedient disciple. She was not alone, friends. When my brother-in-law <clears throat> sees his wife and can't touch her, or give her a hug, <laughs> he was not alone either. God was wrapping Raj up in his own midst. <laughs> I got you, Raj. I love you. I'm with you. Maybe you're feeling alone. Maybe you've lost a loved one. I know several of you who have in the past few months. Maybe you're quarantined. We're all isolated. <laughs> but remember, you're not alone. So don't be discouraged, friend. Don't be afraid. Be strong and courageous. Why? Because God is with you. And there's no place wherever you go, God will be with you. You can't go anywhere where God isn't with you. <laughs> He's with you now. Welcome him. Sense him, feel him, enveloping you in his loving arms. It's a promise, and the one who makes this promise is faithful. Let us pray. God, many of us feel alone. It's hard to be encouraged. It's hard to be strong and courageous. It's easy to come by fear. Help us to know, Lord Jesus, that you are with us wherever we go. There's no place on this earth or even beyond for those of us who are in Christ Jesus that we can go, that you will already be there well ahead of us hand with us. Help us to know that you transcend our feelings. Help us to cling to this promise from one who is faithful to do it and to know truly we are not alone. In this knowledge, in this truth, help us to live strong and courageous. Through Christ our Lord we pray. Amen. Love you, friends. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.